Okay, ow, my hands are burning, the friction! What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the uh, Rich Man 6pm content epi thing that we do on this channel because I don't know why I run two accounts. Uh, I was talking today with the stream before even this recording was beginning saying I kind of as much as I love running two accounts I also hate running two accounts because my time is split between well you guessed it two accounts and I don't know what to do because I love this account and some of the players on this account and some of the pack pulls and some of the purchase players and I love the RTG because of all the crazy players on that account and here we are right before team of the year and for the last nine years in a row or ten years in a row of doing content on twitch and youtube i'm once again annoyed and confused at what my decision is going to be on what account i use for the rest of the year um i did say though at the start of the year i see myself using the rich man account until team of the year and then after team of the year just going on the uh, rtg rtg for the last month has been about a first owner account uh, and uh, and plus a lead squad, and I've really been enjoying it. I don't know what to do. You guys let me know in the comments section before we check out today's amazing, amazing Thursday content. I'm sure that the most exciting part of content for this episode is going to be A, the new loading screen, because I'm going to erupt and I'm a loser, and I love the look of the new cards for FC versus, aka Fire and Ice promo, and uh, whatever's in the store, I'm sure, for buzzer beater packs for the winter wild cards. Anyways, we just finished crafting the Canadian Hullet, I also had a mental breakdown today screaming about this hullet because so many people keep asking me, dude, how's this hullet, man? Is this hullet good? I'm going to say this once for YouTube. Uh, the mental breakdown might make it to the Clips channel. I don't know, but no. I'm done lying and living a lie. I have to come clean to you guys. I can't keep living this lie. This hullet is not the hullet I want. This is not my hullet. This is not my dreams of hullet. Hullet is... A box-to-box, -box, beautiful, long fro hair having gorgeous man that plays at DM that basically is a striker that scores bangers and makes kids cry because he's so damn good with his high medium work rates. This is not him. This Hullet is a top three DM, but it's not Hullet. If I want a top three DM, I'll grind for a Viera. I'll grind for a Archie Gray. This is not the Hullet that I want in my life. He's going to stay in my team probably forever, but if I would have to say, do I like this Hullet? No, I'm a selfish twat and I wish I had the 90 or the 91 Hullet instead. Because that is the Hullet for me. If you want a DM, this Hullet is amazing. So that's my final synopsis on the 89 Hullet. He's awesome, but he's not Hullet. He's basically like a Patrick Vieira with hair, which is an amazing compliment for a DM but it's Rude Hullet, bro. You want to make kids cry from deep in the midfield, scoring bangers across goal with his five-star week, but you want to erupt. And now this card is just sitting there like a fat, you know, overweight Christmas dad with a dad bod that just breaks people's legs in the midfield and then passes the ball to someone else to do all the pretty work. He passes the ball to the Canadian Hullet to do the work. And that's not a Rude Hullet that I want. Right, guys? Anyways, um, now that I've got my unhinged commentary out of the way, let's see what the content is. Uh, I am enjoying this account, and like I said, I'm just annoyed because I love this account and I love the RTG, but I need to decide what account I spend the time on because this two-account malarkey is just too much, man. And uh, it might be this account that dies, honestly. This might just be a 6 p.m. account. I just cash out every single player on this account, and uh, we just open packs and stuff with coins and uh, until there's no, nothing left on the account. And maybe we just keep a dream team of pack pulled players here, and that's it. And, and, and just see what a barren wasteland of destroyed rich man account looks like at the end of the year versus the RTG account. I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at. I, th I think the RTG, we just might go full time on it um, and, and just do first owner plus leads Evo, which is what we've been doing for the last month and a half on the poor man RTG, if you guys haven't noticed. But I don't know. I just... It's just weird, man. I just feel odd. So, that's my uh, overall thoughts for the day. Let's see what boring content there is. I can't imagine there's going to be any Evos, because Tuesday the Thursday is the time of the week where EA lets the game absolutely die. But I'd be happily surprised here if we did actually have... Nope. No... No new Evos. And I do understand that we have, like, a million and one Evos, so it's really kind of ridiculous that I would even expect more Evos to come. But uh, yeah, here we are. SBCs wise, what's gonna happen? Do we get an icon today? So we got the daily login refresh, erupt. 
We get, uh, I can't believe on my poor man account, I finished this winter wild card grind like days and days ago. And this one, I'm still chipping away at it. So Piero, Bobby, Ian Wright. So refresh on the doubles. You saves is almost done, which is now just like basically meaningless, I suppose. Um, the PP, I think, is a waste of time. The team of the week is, is a waste of time. If you want something good from it, it's just a way to get yourself informed at a relatively expensive cost, I would say. <clears throat> Marky matchups is new. Ooh, a mega pack tradable is actually pretty decent. I wonder what that is right there. Like, what is the look of that badge? Anyways, Marky matchups all crapped slowly. Is there anything that's going to make you guys money? So minimum silvers for a small primer. Maybe Turkish League Silvers, but usually player prices don't really go up from the, the, the first squad unless it's bronzes and you need a specific team. Uh, Portuguese League with Silvers. Again, no price increases here, I would say, guys. Uh, Espanol and Getafe, and you need only one of the two teams. So again, I would argue that not a single player is going to go up in price, although a small, small prime pack is a pretty decent pack. Now, Torino. Oh, Torino, Napoli, but not separate. If it was, if you needed a Torino specifically player, that would have been uh, an expensive team. You could double check your club for the next hour or two. I would say Torino Napoli players might be up in price for the Prime Electrum. Um, same thing, you could maybe just sell La Liga players that fit into the to, into the squad itself. But I don't really see marquee matchups causing any player prices to go up by much. Refresh on all the uh, daily golds and silvers that you guys should do if you're running an RTG. How many days left on this Kai Havertz? Honestly, every pro is using this card. Makes me believe that he's a goat. Uh, so if you're a sweat, you probably want to make sure you get this done before he expires. Also, this stones, I've looked at it again and again, and I, I think this might be one of the better cards in the game and one of the better cards that have been released for winter wild cards. I haven't talked to my editor yet, but, uh, cause I think Armalika did this stones within 30 seconds of him being released, but, um, he looks really good. So I would probably craft him over time too. If you are just looking at the meta beasts, obviously Zizou is another meta beast. Um, uh, Sucre Keen Trezeguet. Okay, that's an interesting one. Please tell me they made him high, high work rates. Ah, rip. Bro, if they made this Trezeguet high, high work rates with the relentless playstyle and these stats, honestly, this would have been a sick card. This would have been a sick card. So clear of Hullet. There's no way this card is clear of Hullet. Y'all are on drugs. Now, I like that they position changed him to CM, but I mean, if you're going to make him a CM, make a decision. Make him a holding CM with, with medium high work rates. Make him more of an attacking minded CM with high medium work rates. Make him a box to box with high high work rates. But the fact that they just gave us a, a limp dick version like a limp noodle medium medium card is just dead. I don't know. Unless he's cheap, who's doing this card? I don't know. That doesn't really. I mean, he is cheap, to be fair. 59 aggression is yikes as well. Yeah, it's it's again, it's it's laziness. And I know we're a little bit critical of what EA have been doing in the last few uh days of winter wild cards, but I would admit this event was a huge eruption event. This was the best event they've come out with since Thunderstruck. Week one, with the best dubs available, all the cool cards, the Evos, etc. But this week two, they've just killed the promo again. And and it's always the last like five or six days, everything they come out with has these one or two issues that are glaring problems that just kind of negates even caring about him. I mean, the dynamic image is fantastic. Love it. Be cool if you had a custom celebration where he shushed to the screen for the toxic rats that play this game. Um, but I just think he's missing... I mean, even his long shots and stuff are average. 73 long shots, man. Why? Why 59 aggression? I mean, is he meant to be a, a midfielder? Because some of his key stats just don't make any sense. He can only play at center mid as well. Not Cam, not DM, which maybe would have made him a little bit more interesting, at least for squad building. But anyways, that's, that's the content for today, it's looking like, guys. Holy God. That's the content for today. We got ourselves a Trezeguet who could have been very cool and marquee matchups. That's wild. I think people would have been annoyed by this type of content on a Thursday, even in September, let alone in January. But as we say on this channel, we don't try and depend fully on EA for content. And I'm sure 
that the content is going to be in the store. So we'll we'll go check the store in a second here. I've got a couple of packs saved up. See if we can get anything uh, decent from these. Buzzer beater packs for the winter wild cards uh, before they go away. And then we'll also, before we open the promo packs, we'll go look at the loading screen. Because I guarantee you that's probably the, the, the main attraction is the new loading screen. I'm willing to bet. I mean, there's no objectives, right? It's Thursday. Did they add any new objectives, guys? I hate the position changes. See, I love the position changes, personally. I think the position changes are awesome. But the way EA released them, they're not awesome. Like, that Keen is so uninspiring. Also, can, can we have a conversation as to why EA do not give us hero promo cards with icons? Why not sprinkle in heroes in, in, as well? It seems like we either get heroes in the promo or, <clears throat> or icons in the promo. There's a weekly XP refresh. Broby won player of the month over a week ago. Oh, yeah, I would do him um, for the Dutch team. All right, let's open a couple of 85 by twos that we crafted. All right, young man, I don't think he's worth much. Maybe a double walkout? They robbed. Come on. Not an eruption. Young men at the start of the year would have been cool, but now he's discard price. Bro, you can build such a good team now for nothing. Cristiano Ronaldo is 6k. Young men is 11k. Crazy. Oh my god. Um, I'm not going to open these. I mean, I'll skip these real quick just to restock the club. Why do I have these gold packs? This is not the RTG. Did you check loading screen? I did just say we'll check loading screen before we open the promo pack. I think EA will do a one final degen buzzer beater promo, so we're going to do those. I'm just skipping through all of these. Have to. Baba, what's up, man? Hey, man. What's up, dude? Deadly, hello. Okay, let's do another 85 by two. Erupt. Come on. Hey, man. Here we go. Oh my god, that's... Wait, this is popping as hey, a walkout. An 85 rated card. But then you'll pack an 88 and they don't show up as a walkout. Wait, he's not a walkout. What? Hey, man. I'm confused. Oh, wow. Double winter wild cards. We move. Hey, man. Isam, Hendo, FFS Kurt, Jack Daniels, Lewis Watts. Hey, man. Thank you. Brady is catches. Havertz is, I think, the best left back in the game if you listen to pros. 84 plus by 20 we'll save for tomorrow, okay? I am opening some degen packs right now, but the 84 by 20 we're saving it for... Um... Can we just call it fire and ice? This FC versus is so crap. What a terrible name. I don't know why they would have switched away from Fire and Ice. I guess for YouTube and Twitch metrics, I probably should call it FC versus though. If we want to make that bank. How versus is that good? Yes. Game of Thrones promo. <laughs> How versus over Basha? I, I I mean if you listen if you listen and or watch the pros, yes. For me, Alfonso Davies is more my type, but I'm biased, obviously. The dream is a team of the year Trent for me. You genuinely think Trent will get in team of the year? No shot. No shot. I mean, I feel like Kyle Walker would have to get in ahead of him by a country mile, no? All right, rare player pack. Yeah, see? Chat seems to agree with me. Did I watch darts? No, I did see the Leeds fan beat the 16-year-old, uh, though. Walker isn't in the voting? Wait, how could Walker not be in the voting? I did see that they released the information. Voting for Team of the Year starts January 8th, by the way. YouTube. You guys uh, have been living under a rock. 
and missed my tweet and everyone else's tweet about it. Dumbo rare player pack. Alright, these are the final champ rewards. He did say dream. True. I didn't know he was talking about an unrealistic fever dream, though. I thought dream he meant as in, like, oh, there's even a remote chance. No dupes! Alright. Let's open the final 85 by 2 that we crafted. We'll save the rest for uh, tomorrow and Team of the Year. Come on, double walkout. Double walkout. Give me a Virgil van Dyke in behind. Never mind. I was going to say in behind. Oh, God. All right. So, let's go put this man's into you saves. Then we'll go look at the loading screen because that's the final bit of content for today. And then we'll do our promo packs and end it. This is actually going to be a, a relatively quick epi today. Walker didn't make the team of the year vote. Isn't that absolutely insane? Classic EA just bottling things. Let, let me, let me imagine. Imagine Rodri and Debrina aren't in the team of the year either. Oh my God. The mayhem that that would cause. But okay, so does anyone agree with that by the way? Am I just being a bit of an idiot? Like, why, why wouldn't Walker be in? He played no games, what are you on about? Bro, what? What do you mean, what am I on about? KDB hasn't played since August? KDB was part of the treble, though. To be fair, he was injured? Yeah, but has anyone else done more than KDB while he's been injured? No, right? I mean... Surely we can uh, agree on that. There we go. No one actually supports Man City. Again, what does being a supporter of the team have anything to do with it? We're talking about who deserves to be in the team of the year. I don't care if you're not a City fan. It doesn't negate... De Bruyne from being in a team of the year because no one's a fan of the team. Jude? Uh-huh. Did I say Jude shouldn't be in it? Rice is a fair shout, to be honest. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about, man. That's insanity. These, these, these comments. I, I love how I get abused as a content creator when I give my opinions on team of the years. And there's people in the chat posting stuff like this. Bro, the midfield should be... De Bruyne, Rodri, and Jude Bellingham. Like, I, I swear you gotta have some sort of biases if you think otherwise. Odegaard? <sighs> Alright, let's just... You know what, man? I don't even know if I want to record the RTG. Too many rocks in the chat. Um, let's see what, uh, what to be excited... Oh. Did they change anything about it? God, that's the the fire is so hot. I love it. No pun intended, by the way. Ice is just whatever. If you like the ice, you've got a small pee pee. If you like the fire, you've got huge nuts. Anyways, um, let's go, uh, Dgen. Yeah, Bernardo Silva's another. Con it should be in the conversation too. But does he take out De Bruyne? Does he take out Rodri? Does he take out Bellingham? No, right. Gundo, same thing. I think Gundo deserves to be part of the argument. But then you look at Barca right now, and it's like, oh, ah, again? Does Gundo deserve to be part of it? I, I don't know. Over a Bellingham or Rodri or De Bruyne? Even if De Bruyne has been injured uh, a heavy part of this season? I just, I just, I don't know. I can't, no one in the chat has, has convinced me whatsoever. Trippier all day long. I do love this uh, time of year, the conversations we have, but I mean, sometimes. Okay. What are we, what are we degening on, boys? I think we've given the YouTube comments a lot to, to mold about. Definitely not doing that. One guaranteed winter wildcard and 50 items 
80 or higher. What should we bop, guys? None of these really actually look at interesting. Should we do this one? The 500k pack? These are all trash, if I'm honest. Okay, let's do this one. I can't imagine we'll get anything worthwhile. <clears throat> is that Bon Mari? Wait. This is just a base hero, I think. It can't be someone good. Imagine it's Lucio. Who the... Holy Jesus! Half the players aren't even there! Okay, we got the Canadian on the main account now and on the RTG. No winter wild cards, unfortunately. Oh! Hey, bruv. I can't even pretend like this is good. It's a $40 pack again. Oh my god, man. Don't care, never gonna use you. These are highway robbery, by the way. The fact that these picks can have garbage cards in them is just so dumb. Yes! I'm crafting the freaking other Eusebio, but now we've gotten the 91 as well. Wow! Ugh. Excuse me, sorry for belching in your ear. And finally. Hey man. Um how many times are you gonna give me Baresi in these picks, you frauds? Anyways. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Thank you for spending time on the channel. And uh, we'll catch you beauties on the flip side for the RTG. And uh, if you want to jump on stream, we will also be degening Tarkov tonight very heavily because I love pain. Peace.